Hello, fellow Pokemon fans, welcome to Mr. Two Reviews. Today, I'll be on Pokemon Season 12, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Galactic Battles. I'm not very popular about the Japanese team since it's in the Japanese version. There's actually the three openings, the first two. We've had a second, the uh, redone version of their opens either with the song or the visuals. So, but it's not about that. Anyway, in the first episode called uh, Get Your Rotom Running, after the guy goes call Petra Oak and tell him where they are, and he just goes to get the Sato which has some good cool food. And then the Rotom just starts taking him around. One thing I don't get is they have Dragon Busters in the Pokemon world confirmed by uh, the Black White anime but no Ghost Type Busters I don't know Anyway, anyway I'm going to talk about the interesting Pokemon you can transform into three shapes not counting its uh, original form and three shapes or things are the uh, um, a Frid, a little Puts Lawnmowers, and a Wasp Machine. The clothes are not the big Wasp Machine are. And you'll say I grinned every time. That was a jerk. Anyway, after that, the, the gym leader of the uh, place is back and asked is about to challenge him. It uh, turns out that the gym leader is the father of Wolf, the first uh, gym leader in uh, Sinnoh. And they occasionally have a father son spat. And uh, the dad is played by Dan Green and he just sounds crazy. Yes, he would have raised Zim leaders, I have. They are put on the screen. They keep on saying how we do fossils and this and the defense. It just doesn't explode to happen behind when he does. It's crazy. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, after the family spat, uh, after uh, has finally has his battle. With a man, it's a good battle. It's really majestic for anything. Like, it's not like a top 10 or yeah, it's just top 10 or top 5 of the metals. I don't think of two metals in this season, so every day was one of my favorites. Um, there's, there's a two parter or three parter, I forget which, what this one is. With the uh, Team Galactic when they're trying to make this a uh, key to key to, to something in that this Ar island called Ar Ar Iron Island and the uh, seal type of are just going on a rampage, including those that are just half seal type. And for some reason they put a Guy that looked a, looked a lot and sounds a lot like Sir Aaron from the eighth sorry, Pokemon movie. I know why they did it, but can he just change his look a little bit? A lot of about his clothes. Anyway, this also the season with Depth over Pikachu and Piplup get separated from uh, the Asin Gang and find a Deoxys. Which on the island was some reason, but anyway. Oh yeah, there's also uh, where Dawn gets her final rival, who is uh, named Ursula. And it turns out Theo didn't know what was called, but didn't really, really saw her in the episode, but even though they have a flashback of her being there. But, I don't know. And she sort of like 
hard hard right uh, right hardy cuz she does the like uh, mentally manipulate uh, her opponent or the storm sometimes especially with the second time she has found storm but it's already cheat or light it on that uh, ain't by a like me loads of times and she doesn't dress up like her but, but, yeah. and there's about two episodes focusing on uh, Dawn and her pilot line who evolved to a mammal line at some point and it still doesn't listen and it turns out that it's not no, it's a my a my mammal swine is uh, a boy or girl doesn't look like it. It doesn't really seem interested in uh phone contest at first, but eventually it does get interested. Um the other episode where Pitbull refuses to evolve. So of like Bulbasaur, some people say I peek to but I get more of a Bulbasaur type Thing or feeling from the episode, then it then the that after the fall before it is used to evolve as well, but better copy here. And there's a creepy episode where this frost glass takes in uh some takes in like a beam rocket and the you know trio with being kind and all. But uh, that's a whole speak I think speak to and the hostages and tells them to find their uh its friend or friends or it will they will stay there. I don't know her friend its friend as it said has to buy a poster. So well. Um, because I just saw the problem can be crazy. I I will say that there are some Padden episodes or some goofy ones. Like, uh, Pokemon Ping Pong. They never did that before and they haven't brought back. Some of them are better or what? Um, there's episodes of, of this girl that likes cute Pokemon and Brock Battle. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, then there's after where us and the friends get to Snowflake City to face the Zimmer, their Candace, and see another Zimmer that runs the school. And um, Zoe is there as well, since it's her hometown. And her nickname for Candace doesn't make any sense. Miss Senior. I don't get it. And uh, so again, that path isn't really book smart, but he is a bit street smart. And the battle between him and Candace is good. And I believe it is one of the best episodes where Byron, the Pyramid King from the South Frontier season, comes to Snowflake City, and Paul's there as well, those Reggie. And you get the backstory of why Reggie became a uh, Pokemon breeder and why Paul so obsessed with power. That's because uh, when Reggie faced Byron, he, he lost and he started thinking the over because I was like, Paul was watching the battle. And the battle was brutal. Well, I rule as the Battle that Palm Ashes was going to have, but still. And that episode leads into the next, which has Hunter J trying to capture a, a legendary Pokemon called uh, Reggie Gigas. And it looks awesome. Um, at the end of it, 
Firefly's gonna stay there and protect her Xavier when it sleeps and then stay at. Uh, the name here. The temple made in the Titan. I don't know how they have a sort of attraction to each other or what, but I guess they didn't really do. But anyway, there are two mini story actions this season. Not that they're not really connected to the actual plot of the episode, but whatever. The first story act is the Trinity Festival, where the house and its orders to know those ones and go to the Trinity for the festival. It's okay, it's not the song on home, that episode. Um, but with the festival and the Dawn Ash and Barry go through this, uh, and one house or something and just relive the first time there with their health moms like with Tom and Pitlow, Pikachu and Ash and Heracross and Barry and Team Rocket pull out the old trick of James kind of be Professor Oak I think they've done that since uh, one of the Johto teams and in the final episode evolving around this arc uh, there's a battle tournament going on where the winner gets to face Barry's father who is the Sinnoh Frontier Brain of uh, uh, Frontier, Frontier Brain of Sinnoh Battle Frontier and of course Ash wins the phase of going to win the actual battle because and the episode after that is kind of another weird one. A really evil Tokyo mind controlling uh, the other Pokemon, except for Red. Uh, for Desi Yama. Oh, yeah, I was meant to Yama. Because it's a girl and the Tokyo to use it attract on the other ones, so it's a male, so. And the face Pokey makes is so creepy. It will give you nightmares. Well, I don't know. I don't really want to go to space. I have no idea. Anyway, the other story arc is uh, with the female playable character in Pokemon. Her gold so silver and a friend traveling with the uh, house and the others to Dawn like Pokemon contest that she loses. But this is just not so good when they're in a town that has a festival uh, feature of it's a set, set around uh, the Joko region and Dawn gets a cynical egg. I got to mention that uh, Dawn and people and I become to this uh, professional Pokemon oh, ping pong app uh, version of it can uh, continue to import ping pong. I think they couldn't think of anything else to do with Abicom, but it's probably just get given the role. I don't know, because it's left in the PC, but whatever. Anyway, uh, the episode after. The Joto Festival is up in um, a wind, windward factory. Then uh, they try to capture it in Gibble. And then Pokemon, then a uh, Dawn Pokemon contest if he loses. And I will say that the female tail character in this is kinda good. But for some reason she calls Dawn Dane. Why not Dana? Uh, that's, I think that, that, that makes more sense for her. And she's always trying to fight her pull Ash and Dawn together, or Dawn together with her friend, or herself with Ash, but I don't know, it seems, I don't know, it seems a bit weird. 
And I, the best facts I've seen, or one of the best facts, has to be the first six on six, Ash versus Paul battle in Lake Acuity, or one of your lakes. It is just brilliant. About the those two get better and better. It's just fantastic. Oh yeah, and it's also the season that introduces Looker, who is a, a secret agent for the international police, or the world police, whatever. And I heard some people saying that he looked kind of like David Tennant, the Tennant Doctor. I kind of see it, but... I don't know. Anyway, after the episode where Alex, of course, loses Paul, oh yeah, and then uh, Simchar evolved into um, Monferno in the last episode, centering around the battle. That was just cool. Uh, anyway, in the episode after the battle, uh, Brock just sees a figure in the lake, like Asendon. So now all the lake guardians are seen by their chosen trainers. So, hmm. oh yeah, and also in Asendon's something to cheer up Ass and to bed, so they're good friends here, so. Hmm. Anyway, with the Team Galactic plus, they are uh, still trying to get to the Spear Pillar, I think that's the name of the place they're going to try and get to, but they're try also trying to control the Lake Trio and the uh, Palkia and Yaga. It's a trivia episode, and it's just Great. Um, I still don't know how they're going to figure out that Cyrus is a bad guy, but he has to be one of the craziest uh, uh, heads of evil organizations ever. He even said, uh, try to, to uh, like, uh, destroy the entire universe and try to create a new one. And when uh, Mars and Saturn, Saturn, uh, try to go with them, he says that he's the only one that could go to it because they'll probably uh, ruin the new universe. It's crazy! And yes, I've seen the first half of the Team Slayer arc. I don't know which is crazier, or who's crazier. Lysander trying to kill some of uh, the human population or sorry trying to destroy the entire universe. Bloody that I forget the name the purple hair girl, but she thinks crazy as well. Same with the her facial expressions. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, also on the season, uh, after the, uh, Star, Star Arabia, uh, the, yeah, Star Arabia, well, it's a Star Raptor, well, they're taken in a, in a flying Pokemon thing when they're trying to get a ring and put in a gold, getting named with. And it's just good. That's one of my favorite episodes, I know, I forget the name. For the team, that's like one of the episodes. <sighs> um, what? Oh, 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 yeah, and he gets uh, a gibble after uh, even Guy score in the, the hands of a uh, of this uh, guy that teaches uh, flying techniques to help on oh, air dial master. Now the episode where you don't get like Glide Score is just great. I have this song from uh, a Driver Dark Ride in it, I Always Remember You. It's just fantastic. It's just 
get you right here in Team Rocket. It's crying. Oh, God. Anyway, I don't know why they uh, introduced or gave a, a Gibble this late in the game or in the show, whatever. I think it's all been earlier. It's said too late. Don't even evolve into a Gibbite at this time. They don't, they don't even have a hard to develop Gibble. I mean, that's a running joke because you can't uh, really control the uh, Draco Meteor attack and keep on him to him. But in the last episode where I was chasing the uh, Gibble Bar uh, Barry that uh, come back and crashes into it, I have to those runs over flying them. And then at the end, Gibble eats his bike. <laughs> I don't know if it's hilarious, funny, or both. <sighs> anyway, once again, this is a great season. Even though I might have some padding and some over top goofy episodes, it's actually the one where big some people are uh, stuck together and have hair in their eyes. It's just weird. My favorite one, Mary thought, thought that she would have smacked them both. Oh, we're going set. But uh, the conclusion to the uh, Team Galactic Earth in the series is very good. And the last time they ever do an evil team, great. I like the Team Slayer thing, it's awesome. But well, I haven't done my full talk on the Team Slayer. They only introduced Team Slayer in the actual anime. A little late. Nobody actually introduced King Slayer in the Mega Evolution miniseries. But I know, I know that it's connected to the, the, to the Apple series, but I don't know. I'll just see if I get it too late. And I may have to stop rambling. I might do that. And I did season of Pokemon, Dragon Pearl, Galactic Battles, and 8 out of 10. And oh yeah, why they have to have an episode where they show that game when it was younger like as Vesalina, or when she saw her or met, or met her, she was so scared of her. Makes no sense. And uh, next time be the last season of the time polar. They finally give the origin of GD. And the title of the season is just either a lie or yeah, just a lie. Very very, very much a lie. Uh, the lamp on the group. Okay.